back with some more Dragon Quest Builders. And we are going to do... Let me see, let me rest here first before I go on any excursions. We're going to go do the quest for Pippa, the secret recipe or, you know, make something special for me. Um, and, you know, she has you going out looking for a chef in the, the desert. I've already got the uh, the barbecue. So you need to get that. The barbecue recipe. And if you don't know, I can... I might have it in one of my earlier videos. And you need the, the bread. So you need to know how to harvest wheat and make bread. And for this particular um, quest, you need to go out and get yourself some of these little rat dudes. Their meat. We're going to make hamburgers. And although I'm a vegan, I will eat hamburgers in a video game. And, you know, I don't know. It's never, I, I played it like a lot of World of Warcraft, a lot of games where I still don't really feel all that good about uh, killing animals and stuff. <laughs> you do what you gotta do. You know, it doesn't make me feel good, though, that's for sure. Alright, that's fine. Uh, but, you know, I'll do it. It's part of the game. It's required. There they are. Here we go. Sorry, guy. Oh, cute little bunny. Oh, shit. Fuck you, then. Um, there we go. Got some meat. First chunk of meat. So we're gonna make some uh, bunny corn steak. That's what we need, I think. So I guess it's steak burgers. <laughs> I better get a little bit extra because I don't know how many I need really. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, give me some junk. I'll get a couple, two, three, four of these because you know every time you you get you, you think you have enough, you just you head back to your base and it turns out you really don't. I need to eat a little bit there. Dude, really? Give me some steak. Uh -huh. Give me some steak. Come on now. So it's Saturday morning, early here in New York. It's 5.52. I haven't been on uh, making a lot of videos, so I've been playing uh, Battlefield 1, which I don't uh, intend to do too many videos on because there's like a million of them already. Battlefield's a little more popular than Dragon Quest. Even though I still might do a couple, because I do have a few moments that I, you know, like to throw on my channel, but... And then, next week, Skyrim comes out, which, you know, everyone's played it, I know, we've all heard it. Oh, I played it again, I don't want to, you know, I played it already, I don't want to play it again. But it's remastered. Got all the DLC, and I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna probably put some videos on it. I I love Skyrim. You know, it's just like you have to dedicate most of your life. So there you go, more steak. You have to dedicate a lot of your life to it because it's such a huge, beautiful game. Oh, that's that one. Uh, it's a beautiful game. Uh, rich, and and I and I did kind of touch on a bit of uh, Elder Scrolls Online. I do kind of miss that game. I don't know, WoW's getting, you know, even though they just had a new expansion, it's just getting kind of boring for me. I'm a, you know, I'm a gamer at heart. I'll play any game that you throw in front of me. But, uh, I can only take so much. WoW is, um, uh, you know, it's a great game, and, I've, and I absolutely love what they did with Legion. But it's getting a little redundant now. And I, you know, I play it sparsely, but I still do play it. Halloween event is out now and it's the same old, same old. I've got everything. I've got the horses, reins, and all the, you know, the sword and stuff, so I don't need anything. Wow, come on, drop me some meat. So Skyrim is going to be. Battlefield's fun, but I don't think it's going to just keep my interest for that long. Just because I, you know, I'm pretty terrible at it, actually. I mean, I'm a, I'm a good sniper. Pretty good medic, but you know medics they die so often. It's like you you, know, you have to kind of run in and save your your squad. So you're always getting your ass shot. No matter what. I enjoy that though. I like you know I like the challenge of running into the firefight, getting explosions all around me, and seeing if I can revive uh, one of my squad. The thing about Battlefield is though, you know, I'll risk my ass, my virtual ass, to run in and revive one of my teammates and before just as I get there and I'm in the firefight 
they'll release. They'll go away, and I, then I get shot for no reason. I don't like that. Oh, come on. I don't want to get all these blocks. Wow, I need some. I'm going to get one more. I mean, I think we might have enough, but. Uh, it's going to get dark here soon. I got about another. I got a little bit. Sorry, buddy. Ah, there we go. Look at these bloody things. Oh, and Lego Dimensions. I don't know if anyone likes Lego Dimensions, but I think it's a fantastic game. I think I mentioned it before. I was really big into collect. I'm, I'm a collector. I like to collect things. So if I start something, I like to finish it. And I was really big into um, Disney Infinity um, for the longest time. And then, of course, they, uh, they shut down that whole thing. I got my way here. They shut down it. They closed down Avalanche uh, Studios. Oh wow, that's something new. Nice. Back up. Um. So then I, you know, I jumped on the uh, the Lego Dimensions of BNY. I probably wouldn't have jumped on the bandwagon, but it's got Harry Potter and a lot of the uh, the movies that I like, and uh, you know. Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, um, and it's got a uh, the new Harry Potter, uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them coming out, and one of my favorite movies of all time, Beetlejuice, which I think is going to be awesome. It's coming out for Lego Dimensions, The Goonies. I think we talked about this before, but I mentioned it again. Right, I need to get out of here because it's getting right, I'm just going to use my feathers. Hopefully we have enough. To make what we need to make. We need to make some bread and we're going to press some steak. And we should be able to possibly combine them together to get a rest or to uh, make the rest or the quest I mean to solve the quest. So I feel like oh, I'm lost. Lost in my own house. There we go. So we'll see. All right. It's just morning again. Let's go to the barbecue pit. Frying up some barbecue early in the morning. All right. So we have bread. We'll make that. Oh, bread basket, very nice. And where's our? There it is, bunny corn steak, and we do have enough to make some. All right, All right there's what we need to make a bunny burger, which is kind of gross, but let's give it a try. And a beanie bunny, beanie bunny boy, say that three times, beanie bunny burger. Beanie Bunny Burger, Beanie Bunny Burger, Beanie Bunny Burger, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> All right, I think it's just this. Can we make it? Yes, we can. All right, and there's the quest completion. So let's check out Pippa here. Yay! Thank you. You ended a whole new type of food. What did you say it was called? A burger. Yes. What is it, Berg? Okay. And more importantly, can I have? Well, sure, you can have it. Be my guest. Yes. I'll eat it later. I'm not very hungry now. You're gonna. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just go ahead and put meat without a refrigerator. Put it on, you know, on the side somewhere and let it sit there. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I've invented a new exciting recipe. Okay, what is it? First you talk, take a skeleton skull and fill it up with earth. And Jackie's tails and plum berries. This doesn't sound very appetizing, Pippa. Then you boil it into a sauce made from earth and mixed with orange oil. It's still working out. I'm still working out the details, but I think it's nearly ready for Rolo to do a taste test. Ah, better him than me. And we got fruit salad. Alright. Which is my kind of food, by the way, fruit salad. 
So there you have it, folks. That is how you do Pippa's... I mean, everyone was, you know, was asking and sending me messages of, how do I, you know, where do I find Pippa's recipe? Well, she has it, right? You have to unlock it. So you have to go and get... Make sure you have the, you know, you can make bread. So you need wheat. Make sure you go out and you talk to the chef in the desert. You get the recipe for the brick barbecue. Need that. Once you have those two things, and if you don't know how to get those, send me a message. Maybe I'll throw up an, Oh, I can't. I've already got it, but I'll, uh, I'll have to walk you through it. I think I have it on one of the other, other videos. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, once you have those two things, then you do what I just did. You go and you um, you make your bread, and then you go get some of those, uh, those steaks off those rats. Or those bunnies. Or, they look like rats to me, but I guess they're bunnies. So that's how you do it. That's how you make Pippa's uh, bunny burger. Make sure you make the bunny burger, not the bunny bean burger. And you will have completed this and moved on. And now I think I'm going to try and get my base to level 5. Um, and that'll be it. So um, Let's see what this is. What this is what he wants. Our city is growing. Let's see what he wants. Him. I think we're going to get another, uh... Oh, more rooms. Just to improve our talent, as you saw, yeah, he's just telling me to get to level... He's just telling me to get to base level 5 and to do it quickly. I have big news. Within the Cantalan Chronicle, I have found a description of the biggest and boldest defensive structure ever invented. Oh, is that like the uh, Trojan? Oh, it's a shield. I was going to say the Trojan horse. It's called the Cantalan Shield, and if that isn't a majestic and awe inspiring name, I don't know what it is. Okay. If we had one of those, we could protect our home against anything. Well, obviously not, because it was destroyed before. I'd even go for, so far to say we could consider the reconstruction of Pantland complete. However, what's this game? The details of how to build it are lacking, sadly. Alright, so he's going to get some clues. Alright. Well, oh, thank you. I do need clues. Quest complete. Oh, we got steel ingots. That was nice, huh? Steel ingots. And we're going to have to do another battle here, which I won't do now because uh, I'm getting tired, so... So anyway, you've got that quest done, and you, you know what to expect when you're heading for base level 5. And I'm going to end it there and you know, say um, gaming is your adventure for many, many lifetimes, folks. See you next time.